Hi, uh, my name is Basir. Uh, today I'll teach you chapter 11 trigonometry. Uh, basically in this video, the first video, uh, we'll deal with few basics of trigonometry which will help us in solving exercise 11.1 problems. Uh, so trigonometry, tri means three, gono means angle, metri means measure. So we are going to deal with uh, uh, a geometrical figure which has three angles and the only uh, geometrical figure which has three angles is a triangle in trigonometry we will specifically deal with a right angle triangle a right angle triangle is one in which one of its angles is 90 degree now I uh, will also uh, see few uh, real life examples here of a right angle triangle now we see here in this figure a uh, pole erected uh, by using a string uh, we clearly see here the string, the pole and the ground makes a right angle triangle. We also see uh, one more example here where a person is whitewashing a wall or painting a wall um, by climbing a ladder. Now the ladder, the wall and the ground, it makes a right angle triangle. For problem solving, we consider the wall and the ladder as linear. Uh, we draw it as a straight line we see here one more example where a person is sliding down a slider the slider and uh, the ground and the ladder it again makes a right angle triangle <coughs> now in this figure uh, we see a ladder uh, placed like this first now let us say this guy wants to paint a higher elevation he would have to place the ladder this way now take care so the angle will change the angle that the ladder makes with the ground it that changes um, we will first uh, talk about few uh, geometrical ratios we have a set of total uh, six geometrical ratios before that let us see how to name the sides in a triangle let us see how to name the sides in a triangle <coughs> Now we see in the figure a uh, right angle triangle, triangle ABC. Um, let us say the angle A is theta. The side opposite to angle A is BC. So BC is the opposite side with respect to angle A. AC, which is a slant line, is known as hypotenuse. And then AB is the adjacent side let me just uh, draw them up and then I'll th that should make it a little more more clearer for you um, I'm drawing a triangle here a right angle triangle there you go so we have a right angle triangle a B C let us consider this angle angle a the side opposite to angle A is BC. So this is the opposite side. And this is the slant line here, AC. The slant line is known as hypotenuse. And this line AB, it is adjacent to the ang angle A. So this is our adjacent side. Hypotenuse, which is a slant line, it is always the high, uh, the longest line uh, longest side in a right angle triangle also hypotenuse is always opposite to the right angle here we have angle b as right angle which means angle b is 90 degree let us consider the same triangle triangle abc but this time around we would like to find out uh, what is the side opposite to angle c and what is the side adjacent to angle C now with respect to angle C we see that AB AB is the opposite side for angle C hypotenuse AC is the hypotenuse because it is a slant line and it is opposite to this right angle BC is the adjacent side now I told you uh, we'll be talking about six trigonometric ratios Trigonometric ratios gives you uh, the relationship between the sides and the angles in a right angle triangle. Now we have seen that in a right angle triangle we have three angles. Angle A, angle B and angle C. 
and also we have three sides AB is one side BC is the, the second side AC is the third side so in a right angle triangle we have three angles and three sides trigonometric ratios gives you a relationship between these sides and angles we have a set of total six trigonometric ratios sine cosine tangent cosecant secant cotangent so you see here we have a set of six trigonometric ratios sine cosine tangent cosecant secant cotangent we write sine as just sin cosine we just write it as in, in short form as cos tangent in short we write it as tan cosecant in short we write it as cosec secant in short we write it as sec and cotangent in short we write it as tan so sine cos tan cosec sec and cot now we'll see uh, how we can uh, define the relationship between the angles and the sides in a right angle triangle using these trigonometric ratios this is pretty simple i usually make use of uh, old harry and his old aunt in defining the relationship between the sides and angles i usually do it this way old harry and his old aunt now you would be wondering what i'm writing here see for me this is o o is opposite h h means hypotenuse a is adjacent H is hypotenuse O is opposite and again A is adjacent as I told you uh, with respect to let us see uh, angle A with respect to angle A B C is my opposite side A C is the slant line which is a hypotenuse A B is a adjacent side so I actually have three sides opposite side adjacent side and hypotenuse with, re with respect to an angle now so sine is opposite by hypotenuse cos is adjacent by hypotenuse tan is opposite by adjacent right <clears throat> if you are given any two sides of a right angle triangle it is pretty easy for us to find out the third side using Pythagorean theorem uh, let us say this is a right angle triangle ABC and I have two of the sides as 3 and 4 let us say uh, side AB is 3 centimeter side BC is 4 centimeter then it is pretty easy for us to find out the third side if we are given any two sides in a right angle triangle it is very easy for us to find out the third side we'll use the Pythagorean th Gorean theorem which is pretty simple it says that sum of squares of two sides of a triangle is equal to the square of the hypotenuse so what is the hypotenuse here the hypotenuse is AC AC is the hypotenuse so hypotenuse square should be equal to sum of squares of other two sides what are the other two sides AB and BC those are the other two sides so in place of AB I'll write it as 3 in place of BC I'll write it as 4 3 square is 9 4 square is 16 16 plus 9 is 25 if I remove square from the left hand side on the right hand side I'll have to keep a square root square root of 25 is 5 so what is the hypotenuse here hypotenuse is 5 centimeter so as I told you uh, if two sides of a right angle triangle are given it is very easy to find out the third side using Pythagorean theorem and we have also uh, talked about 
uh, the trigonometric ratios, the six trigonometric ratios, sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, cotangent, and we have also seen in short how we write it. And we now know uh, how to, uh, you know, we now know how to define the relationship between angles and sides with the help of old Harry and his old aunt. Now let us move on to exercise 11.1.